Hello everyone. Today we are going to see water cycle. Do you know how rain is falling from the sky and when it is raining the beautiful peacock is dancing with his feathers open. Do you know answer for all these questions? So let's find the answer from our story Rainy Friendship of Peacock and the Cloud and explore the water cycle. Once upon a time in a lush green forest lived two best friends, a cheerful, playful peacock called Pia and a fluffy cloud named Cloudy. They loved spending time with each other, playing, dancing and making forest alive with joy. But one day, Pia and Cloudy noticed something unusual. That trees are looking sad and the river seems too small now. The earth must be thirsty and it hasn't rained for a long time. Pia and Cloudy realized that forest and all the creatures need water. Cloudy decided it is time for the help now. Pia, I am going up to collect water from the river and ocean to make rain. Cloudy floated into the sky. The sun warmed up the water onto the earth turning it into the vapors and cloudy collected all the vapors to form big rainy cloud and it started raining on the earth yay it was a joyful moment everyone was so happy oceans were full of water lot of water lots of water in the ocean now the river started flowing again and the earth turned colorful by blooming so many flowers. The rain was a gift of clouds to the whole earth and Pia started dancing because the joy and happiness Cloudy brought to the earth. The water cycle that is the real hero. When the sun heats up the water from river, lakes, it turns into vapor and rises up in the sky that is evaporation now these water vapor become cool and they form the tiny tiny droplets to form the cloud that is condensation and eventually releases this water back to earth as a rain that is precipitation after it rains, some of the water will soak into ground to help plants growth, while some will flow back into river, lakes, that is collection. The water cycle is nature's way of moving water all around the earth. It's like big journey that never stops. Let's break down this cycle into some simple steps. First is evaporation. Water goes up. The sun shining brightly on river, lakes and ocean. The heat from the sun makes the water warm. When the water gets heat up, it turns into something called as water vapors like steam. Do you see steam here? Which is rising in the air called as evaporation. It is same as boiling water when we do cooking. Next is condensation, that is cloud formation. When the water vapor goes up into the sky, it gets cool. The cold air turn the vapor back into tiny water droplets. These tiny droplets stick together to form clouds and called as condensation. The fluffy clouds you see are made up of millions of tiny water droplets. Then comes precipitation, that is water fall down. Small water droplets fall down due to gravitational pull. When the clouds get too heavy with water droplets and can't hold them anymore, it fall down in the form of rain or snow or hailstone. When the temperature is very cold, the droplets frozen in the form of 
ice crystals and fall down as a snow raindrops freeze and get laid on each other and form hard ice ball which is hailstone and each depend on the temperature of the atmosphere the rain water fall into river lake and oceans some of it also soak into the ground and helps to plant grow the water will later evaporate again when the sun is shining and the cycle will start all over again some experiment you can perform in the home to check how water cycle works to see evaporation you need small glass water cling film rubber band and a sunny spot pour water into the glass which represents river and ocean cover it with cling film which represents sky leave it under sunlight and observe small water droplets are forming onto the cling film that shows evaporation and condensation you can do simple experiment to understand evaporation condensation precipitation and collection pour hot boiling water in a glass hold tray of ice cubes above the steam as water vapors reaches to the tray it cools down and condenses into the small small droplets and fall down back again into the glass water and this represents the rain formation isn't it simple to understand how the rain is forming do you know what is importance of the water cycle the water cycle makes sure that animal plants human always have fresh water to drink and use it provides water for living things the rain from the water cycle helps plants to grow and support the growth the cycle helps to keep the earth cool by moving water and heat between the land water and air and it regulates the temperature the cycle ensures that water is distributed all over the planet and balances the ecosystem do you know what are the fun facts about the water cycle that is only 3% of water on the earth is a fresh remaining is salty water in the ocean on earth rain is water but on another planet the rain may be in a different form like venus have sulfuric acid rain and uranus and neptune have diamond rain the water cycle never stops fog is also part of the cycle fog happens when the water vapor condenses close to the ground showing how cycle works right in front of your eyes the water we drink today is around millions of year old and it is recycled again and again and do you know it is the same water we drink which dinosaur drank do you know which are the factors which affect the water cycle in negative way deforestation cutting down the trees reduces transpiration leading to less moisture in the air and lower rainfall climate change leads rising in the temperature increase in evaporation rate leading to extreme weather like drought and floods warmer climate can reduce snowfall which affects the water storage in glaciers and snow melt overuse of water resources that is excessive pumping of ground water lowers the water level and disturbing flow of water in the cycle industrial and agriculture pollutant contaminate water reducing its quality and affecting the evaporation air pollution can alter the cloud formation and rainfall pattern the loss of wetland wetlands are destroyed for development or farming purpose and it reduces areas where water can naturally collected and get replenished to maintain the rhythm of water cycle we have to plant more trees reduce pollution save water we have to fight against climate change by planting more trees and we have to protect the wetlands to maintain our ecosystem so always stay curious and keep experimenting keep watching your own channel Why not academy